A few years ago, I wrote a novel where the heroine is a quilter. And in order to write about quilting, I decided to do it myself. And, and I took it up and discovered I really liked it. The Sleep Quilt Project is part of a show I curated a few years ago. Fine Cell Work and I got together and we decided to make this quilt. Fine Cell Work is a charity that trains men and women in prison to do skilled craft work when they're locked in their cells. We pay them for this work and we sell it to museums, to interior designers, and we sell it all over the world. I found quilting incredibly calming in two ways. One, it takes you away from the situation you're in, but it also allows you time to think and it's an incredibly positive activity to do. I asked the prisoners to design a 10 inch square about their feelings about sleep. And I discovered that actually sleep in prison is not necessarily a happy experience. It's the one time of day that's unprogrammed. At night, it's supposed to be quiet, but it's noisy, it's hot, you're in a cell sharing with somebody else you don't, may not know that well or like. More than that, you also are lying there and suddenly you have all this time just to think about all the things that have gone wrong in your life. And the amazing thing about these squares on the quilt is that the men and a few women express this somehow. The idea of a book came about after the show ended. We wanted to bring the sleep quilt to a wider audience through a book. What the photography is able to do is really focus in on some of the very beautiful and unusual details of the different squares made by the different prisoners. Most people will never go to prison or visit prison, but the sleep quilt book gives them some insight into what it's like to be there, what it's like to sleep there, and also what it's like to make something really beautiful in a surprisingly unbeautiful location. Not only can you buy a book, but you also are contributing towards an extraordinary new project, which is rehabilitating offenders on release from prison and helping them into skilled textiles work. We want to make sure that the men and women we work with can change their lives. Once I was released, it was just a great support to actually come to find Sal and it is completely non-judgmental in here. It's all about moving forward and being able to start moving on with my life again. <laughs>